Welcome back, guys, to Factorio Meiosis, episode number nine. So today, we are actually going to set up the trains, finally. And then we can move forward from that point, but finally, trains. Awesome. But first, I have a little something to show you. I installed a little cosmetic mod called Color Coding. And what this mod does, as you can see right here, it basically just gives you a color palette option for the lights for the locomotives and for concrete also gives you these stripy concretes uh, I think I saw somebody streaming with this and they had made like little pixel art things and I think we might find a use for that uh, eventually I'm gonna have a depot cell where all the useful stuff we're constantly using is gonna get sent to with trains so I don't have to go back and forth to find this stuff and I think I might just want a variety of cars and you can't color code the cars, but I could make a garage. So, like, this guy has solar panels. That's black. This guy has the belts, because they're red. This guy has concrete, because that's gray. This guy has turrets, although he doesn't have any right now. This is the turret car, because uh, that's kind of bluish or whatever. And the other day, I did a live stream, and we killed more aliens. That's the only thing I did on the live stream, is just extend the cell. And I did try very briefly to run basically through the... Through the aliens, thread the needle, if you will. And I constructed, to do that, to try, I constructed six, well, I guess four more, or three more, I don't remember how many I had before, two or three, whatever. I have six total basic exoskeleton equipments now. I am quite quick. I think I'm actually faster than the cars. And so since I don't need them right now, let's just run. And actually on the, the concrete, the running speed is ridiculous. Yeah, okay, so that's pretty funny. We can run around zip-zip pretty quick. So, let's get to it. Let's set up the trains. First thing we will do is the coal train. The jazz uh, saxophonist. What did he play? Trumpet? I don't know. I don't, I don't follow jazz. Don't get mad at me for that. Oh, wait, hang on. The whole reason I installed this mod before this video is so we could use color-coded trains. Okay, so this is going to be... Guess what? Yeah, the coal train. Okay, uh, so let's actually, before we do that, before we do anything, we need to make sure that this guy only picks up coal, because he's going to be going to all of the different bases. Okay, that's not it. It's, uh, shift, no, control, no, shift, right click, there, oh, it's got to actually be in there, you can't just be holding it in your mouse. Okay. Okay. Uh, actually, let's do it this way. Uh, we can just tell him to go to coal cell, not brick cell, coal cell, and stay there. I think it's going to take, like, probably just 10 seconds. Let's just say 15 seconds. Let's get in the train so we go with him. And does he not have... He doesn't have any coal. Might help. And I would like to time to see how long it takes to fill up this guy. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So let's just say uh, we'll have him stay for 20 seconds at this stop. And now we can do this. Yeah, it was middle mouse. I was right the first time. I just was holding it in my hand instead of having it in the inventory when I did this. I need to make sure to do this so that uh, this train does not pick up any coal or any other thing like iron or copper or whatever at the other places. Okay, good. Seems to be working fine. Okay, so then next he needs to stop off, I guess, at uh, copper cell and then iron cell and then green circuit cell. Okay, and he's only going to be offloading a bit, but it's only going to be by one uh, offserter, inserter, offloading. So we'll go to uh, copper cell. And uh, yeah, 20 seconds is probably more than we need. Let's do 15, because we have to think that the trains can go a long time on coal. So the amount of coal that he can offload each trip, each stop for 15 seconds is way more than that train is actually going to need. Uh, and it will take a few rotations before this guy will fully fill up all of the uh, the chests, because I don't think he can hold enough for all these stops. Okay, so that's copper cell. Iron cell, same thing. And then green circuit cell. 
Same thing. Did I do that right? Copper cell, iron cell, green circuit cell. I think so. And they are 15, 15, 15. All right. Yeah, go for it, buddy. Do it. Do it to it. This guy's totally full. Okay. He's sitting here for the 20 seconds again, I think. Because I stopped the train and then we're starting it. Okay. Anytime you're ready. There we go. And off we go. Okay, off to the copper cell. We're basically, we're just filling up the these little four chests here. And I'm kind of curious, since I said 15 seconds, how full this will get. Okay, so it looks like we're going to dump at least eight stacks of copper, or coal. So that's plenty. That's actually overkill. In the long term, I could probably drop that down to uh, 10 seconds. But it's not that big a deal. We'll just leave it the way it is. Okay, there we go. It's nice to follow this around and make sure that uh, like all the signals are working and he's able to get everywhere he needs to go. He goes on the, the route that I think he's going to go. Test the overall AI, that kind of stuff. And actually, we will get off here because we need to start our first iron train. Okay, so iron train is going to be just the default gray, I think. Okay. Two. Three. There we go. Uh, so, let's say we are going to start at the iron cell. And let's say 15 seconds for now. We might have to revise these numbers later, but for now, let's just say we'll do that. And then we're going to go to the green circuit cell for iron, the drop off. And to unload should be the same. So I guess we'll see, though. It's, it's been a while since I set up a full train station circuit. And I don't have any coal. Luckily... There is some right here, so I'll just grab enough to start these guys. Let's get at him, because we're going to ride him as well. Okay, and I'll just give him some of that. Okay, go for it. Iron cell, first stop. <clears throat> these guys are totally full and backed up. There we go, yeah! Okay, pretty good. All these guys are going to switch back on, because they've been backed up. My power was down to, like, in the 50s, and now it's up in the 70s, but we should have enough solar panels to deal with this additional load. And we're going to be placing down some more rails and solar panels after this to expand down this way. Okay, here's the offload. Let's make sure that it fully unloads. Did it? I did not check to see that it fully loaded. Um... But this is... I'll, I'll go back and I'll figure stuff out later. Okay, so that looks fine. Let's actually stop here and make sure that all these belts are working properly. Yep, seems good. They should stop. Actually, I can get rid of this. If we ever decide to tile it further, though, I will need those belts there. So we'll just leave them, actually. Okay, so there is that. Here's the coal guy bringing another load. So these should be full by now. This is the second load. Okay, very good. Okay, so next, we need to set up the copper to come over here. And we will ride that one as well. So I'm going to get an orange diesel locomotive. There we go. And four of these. And this one is simple, just like the other ones. So we're going to go copper cell for 15 seconds, and then green circuit cell copper. 15 seconds, we'll ride this guy too. Make sure everything's going okay. There we go. Actually, uh, I might, well, I'll grab some more. Oh, go. <clears throat> On your mark, get set, go. And once we get enough going in here, we'll really be able to see how these intersections perform with a lot of trains buzzing around. Okay, so we've got somebody, the, the coal guy is in our spot, so we got to wait for a second here. 
In fact, I might delay him at some point just to slow him down, because he does not need to be coming through here that often. So I might min-max it to a certain point where he has an additional stop. Let's call it like uh, the coal refueler, like parking space right here or something. And he'll just sit there for a while, so he's not clogging up spots like that if he doesn't need to be. And actually, I want to grab this to start the other trains. So he should be full up on... Yeah. And that 150 coal that he's got there, he can go on that for a pretty long time. So I have really gone overboard with the refueling. So maybe I will do that parking spot thing. Okay, so here comes the copper, and we can start making the circuits. We can watch how this goes. Our iron is backed up because... Well, they it this all backed up because we're not actually making the circuits yet. But we'll start using that now. Kind of curious how full this chest is. Not that full. But the, 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 the next iron train should be right around the corner. Okay, very good. Everything seems to be working. Alright, producing a steady stream. Only on one side of the... Oh no, okay, I was about to say, only on one side of the belt. That's rather peculiar. But I guess because uh, the ones on this side, the copper took longer to get down here, because just because the belt's longer. It's asymmetrical in that manner, but after that happened, uh, this is fine. Okay, so this is loading up. Okay, so the next thing to do, we need to set up a another iron train. Okay, we'll go ahead and give you fuel. Okay, and you are going to go... Let's go ahead and get inside. You are going to go from... Uh, iron Cell. Maybe we'll give you 20 seconds to load up. I'm not sure which is best. We'll figure it out. We're going to go from there to... What did I call it? The Belt Cell. Okay, Belt Cell Iron. And unloading is probably... 15 is probably good. Okay, so you can go ahead and head off for that. And then after that, we got one more to do. <clears throat> then we'll be constructing all the stuff and then we can start working on more rails and uh, the next cells after that basically what we need to do we need a uh, an oil processing area which I guess is going to be right here next to all these oils there are no other oil wells nearby not really there's one right there but just the one not really good enough Okay, going swimmingly. So he's uh, he stopped here, and we've now emptied out the chest. So I'm kind of... or have we? Are these still backed up? I couldn't see them. But we almost filled that up. Okay, so what was your stopping time? 20 seconds. Okay, maybe I should increase the overall time. Because we had... basically all those chests were totally full. Um, it's very quick to transfer resources from chest to chest because of a uh, inserter stack size bonus that I researched some time ago. But eventually we're going to get rid of that, or we're going to run out of uh, that, that backlog. Okay, pretty good. Let's make sure all these belts work. We can start constructing some of this stuff. So we only need two stops here. I think when I first started this in the last episode, I had a copper stop, but we don't actually need that. We only need iron and green circuits. Oh, okay, we're missing a belt. We found the first error. Oh, how did that happen? That's an odd thing to miss. Okay, so there goes the iron. And the iron gear wheels, so that should be able to make us the, uh, the belts. I wonder what else we can make with just those two things. I think we need green circuits for all that. Okay, there's that. Oh, it's lovely! Okay, so, uh, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and set up the circuit car. And that is going to be green. Okay. Awesome. Okay, give you, I guess, the last call. This is the last uh, train to set up for now. So you need to go to the green circuit cell to pick up. So that's going to take, let's just give you, uh, let's say 20 seconds, and then you need to come back 
to the belt cell green circuit. And you can offload probably in 15 is enough. And go. And then once we get back, we'll be able to make the rest of the stuff. And uh, that, yeah, then we'll be caught up and all the trains will be going. You can see some of these signals are turning blue, some are red. Oh, okay, two trains in the intersection. It's confirmed to work. <laughs> Did you see that? One train went through one side, one train went through the other side. And these chests are not nearly full, so this will actually be a good measure of how fast we can actually load. And this thing actually, this is uh, not going to be bringing in materials as fast as our iron and copper cells because we have more belts. We've got a bazillion miners on those. We're not actually making anything, which is reducing your overall amount of sources. You go from, uh, when you make a green circuit, you go from one, one iron plate and one and a half copper to just one thing. And there's a lot of in-between steps, so... Yeah, these are probably... N yeah, they're not even close to full, but at least, at least it'll get us started. And we can figure out uh, better timings later. Pretty good? Okay, and here we are. Offloading all of those. At least uh, we can confirm that everything works. And we are already making uh, fast underground belts. These take circuits, so we haven't done the splitters. Here they come. Okay, so there goes the inserters. Pretty good. That is basically maxed out, so I guess two long-handed inserters is fine for that. This is going straight into that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh yeah, you're taking the inserter off, All right. Okay, so this is facing this way, that's facing that way. And we've got you being made in there. You being made in there. Everything is delicious and lovely. You're being made and put directly into these guys. Okay, continuous motion. You're not getting made at all, though. Huh. This one guy should be enough to support both of these. I wonder why this guy isn't doing anything. Maybe this is only enough to support the one. I thought it would support two. I thought I did the math properly, but anyway, we're making them. So all the logic works. Maybe my ratios aren't 100% accurate and the best. There's the fast transport belts. There's a train that has gotten back here before we ran out of green circuits. That's probably the most important thing, that we have a continual stream of uh, materials going into our construction system. Okay, pretty cool. I think we can call this a success. We've got trains. It's up and running. Hooray! So, after setting all that stuff up, we have spiked up to 150 megawatt load. And that's without getting attacked. Oh, I should show you one other thing. So, you see these green circles on, uh, out in the water here? I saw some other players doing this, and I, during the live stream, I asked about it. Turns out this is not a mod or anything. This is a default vanilla part of the game. What this does is it shows you valid chunks that uh, where a biter or a spitter nest might spawn. Now, this is water, so you're safe from that. Um, and the way you turn this on, you hit F4, and it'll bring up this huge, crazy debug menu. Tons of options. You want to go in the basic tab, and you're looking for show enemy expansion candidate chunks. And that'll pop up the circles. That was relevant because uh, while I was expanding my wall... There were some enemies that had spawned in this gap here between uh, the wall here and all my stuff here. Enemies won't spawn within a certain distance of something you've built. Um, yeah, so, or, and I think they also won't spawn within a certain distance of their own bases or something like that. But uh, this little thing just removes all the um, ambiguousness. So you can tell exactly where they're going to spawn. I don't need it right now, but it was useful then. I thought I would mention it. And uh, there's more debug things you can do there. You can turn on the pathing for aliens. It's really trippy. It's like playing Geometry Wars almost. Uh, if you hit like F5, I think F6, F7, F8, it'll turn on a whole bunch of debug information. So I, I don't know what this is. Is this my car burning coal? I don't know what that is. You can see all kinds of information. You can see I've got uh, 600,000 entities in my in my game, and 100,000 of those are active. That's a lot. 
That is a lot of things to keep, for the game to keep track of. I don't even know what these are, but it's kind of cool to look at. And then if that was F, what, 5? Yeah, F5. This is F6. This turns on more information. And then F7 turns on more. I have no idea what these are. I think this is maybe where a uh, enemy biter base will spawn. They all seem to be 3x3. Three three. Maybe that's what it is? I don't know. It's just a guess. Yeah. Try to play like this. Try to play like that someday. Okay, anyway, so there was that. Next, I uh, we need to set up some more rails. So it's back to slow-mo mode. And is that... Yeah, okay, I just unpowered... Oh, just this little strip here. Okay, so that's fine. We need to put down some rail lines. So let's get to work. More solar panels. The What happened? Thought I clicked it. Oh, there must have been something in the way. What's in the way? Down here. Found it. And it is dark again. I swear I try to start these clips when it's daytime. And before I even blink, it's nighttime again. While the lights should turn on in just a moment, they don't seem very bright, do they? I wonder if I click some kind of button to make them darker or something. I'm not sure. Oh, you know what? I bet we don't have enough power. Uh -huh. We don't have enough power to supply them, maybe? That's why they're not bright enough? Yeah, we're only running on these guys because we used our entire accumulator capacity overnight. And now we're out of power and the enemies are attacking. Yes, this is a problem. Uh, this is why we need more solar panels and accumulators. And also, we need a bigger safety net of uh, steam engines. So another cell I want to set up is a super huge steam engine cell, which will also give our coal cell something to do. Like all he's doing right now is refueling trains, which is kind of dumb. We're going to be setting up a plastic cell pretty soon so that we can make uh, red circuits. And that's going to take some coal. Because that takes, uh, plastic bar is petroleum, gas, and coal. But in the long term, we really just want a bazillion solar panels. And actually, I'm up to uh, 1,900, and I'm thinking of going ahead and going ahead and uh, jumping to a four-lane rail system instead of two-lane. Just for the fact that it will make our solar panels denser per, like, square meter or whatever of our base. Yeah, I think that's something we need to do. I need to start working on those blueprints to make uh, the rail network bigger just so we can fit more solar panels on it. Okay, I think I want a gate here. Good. Very nice. And during the daytime, we're fine. And once, actually, once that... Um, all this stuff getting made up here and all the green circuits getting made here, once all that backs up, and it will, our power will drop down again. So we have a little bit of breathing room. Our accumulator capacity is zero because all of our power is going to our uh, factory, which is kind of bad. Okay, so we're down here. Do I want an intersection? There's a big copper uh, patch there. We probably would want to go south of that to have an intersection right about there. So we can go right underneath it, underneath that. And then link up with this somehow. Yeah, okay, so let's do one more straight section. And then put this guy back in the old inventory. And just as another temporary measure, I have a lot of empty space, like here. I might just fill this with solar panels. Or, actually, this could be the steam engine area right here. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, let me just make sure I've placed all this. We'll go take a look at that. Location, see what it's, uh, see what it looks like. Good excuse to extend our rail network, and with all those steam engines, I could put, like, maybe a thousand there, something ridiculous. Then we could, uh, rest a little easier for a while. And these guys, this line is not actually powering anything. This is just keeping, uh, biter nests from spawning there. Alright, let's drive over there. I guess that'll be the end of the video. And, uh, next time we will start work. Ow! <laughs> the number of times I ran into wall. That's why, by the way, I've got these little walls here. Partly for cosmetic function, partly to prevent me from exploding these these things by ramming into them. Yeah, we have all this lake, and I was trying to find a nice section of water without big ore patches everywhere to uh, put our 
our first steam engine complex. Almost hit a tree there. That's all right. I can blow right through these trees. No big deal. Like this. Oh, I missed it. And one area I did kind of have in mind was here, because there's not much there. But we've got all this, and there's nothing here. So I think next time, we will we, we're going to make the, the steam engine area. And we're going to have to have uh, a way for the train to get down here. And then we will start work on the uh, the oil oil refining cell. I think that's what we'll do next time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.